Welcome everyone to a deep dive into one of the most talked about controversies in the sports world. Today, we're unraveling the unsettling events surrounding the infamous Doyle-Clark saga. This story has it all. Awkward encounters, social media backlash, public apologies, and lessons learned. So buckle up and stay tuned till the end because, like any good drama, there's more to this story than meets the eye. This story begins at Clark's introductory press conference, held on a seemingly normal Wednesday. Doyle, known for his sharp pen and keen insights, was already under scrutiny for a questionable interaction with Clark. However, it seemed that one awkward moment wasn't enough for the day. As the press conference progressed, Doyle had a second encounter that left many feeling uncomfortable. Talking to Fever coach Christy Sides, Doyle referred to Clark, the number one pick of the Indiana Fever, as that and it. You were just given the keys to that, he told Sides. What are you going to do with it? Not the most eloquent way to phrase a question about a prominent sports figure, wouldn't you agree? But the awkwardness didn't stop there. Earlier in the conference, Doyle had formed a heart symbol with his hands for Clark, a gesture she typically makes to her family after every game. When Clark asked Doyle if he liked the gesture, his response was, I like that you're here. As if that wasn't uncomfortable enough, Doyle then told Clark to start doing it to me and we'll get along. Clark responded with a strained smile, the discomfort palpable. The incident didn't go unnoticed. Social media was ablaze with reactions and they weren't kind. CBS sports host Chris Williamson suggested that the fever should revoke Doyle's credentials. Barstool Sports President Dave Portnoy labeled him a pervert, while Asa Bergamini of 690, the score, called him a creep. ESPN's Clinton Yates summed it up as inappropriate, unprofessional, and just plain gross. Doyle, however, did not remain silent. He apologized for his remarks in a column headlined, Caitlin Clark, I'm so sorry. On Wednesday, I was part of the problem. He admitted his comment was clumsy and awkward and promised to do better. This incident, while uncomfortable to recount, underscores the importance of respecting boundaries, especially in professional settings. It's a reminder that words matter and that the way we address and interact with others can have a profound impact. It's a lesson in humility too, showing that even seasoned professionals can err, and when they do, acknowledging the mistake and vowing to improve is the right path forward. This episode might fade into the annals of sports history, but the lessons it imparts will remain relevant. Respect, professionalism, and the courage to admit when we're wrong are values that stand the test of time. As we move forward, let's hope these are the principles we remember, not the awkward exchanges that brought them to light. In the end, this incident serves as a stark reminder that we must always strive for respect, professionalism, and humility, no matter the circumstances. It's a lesson not just for those in the spotlight, but for all of us as we navigate our daily interactions. Remember, the way we treat others is a reflection of who we are. If you found this analysis insightful, don't forget to hit the like button. Sharing this video could help spread these important lessons, and your comments are always welcome. We appreciate your support in fostering a respectful and thoughtful community here. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more deep dive content like this. Stay tuned and keep learning.